Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kingy2012, and today we are starting this brand new series, the South End United Career Mode. Can we bring some glory back to the club? Now, obviously, if you follow South End United in real life, you will know we are not doing very good. Now, I say we, South End United, are my home team my hometown team so hopefully we can bring some glory back for this we're going to be playing on professional obviously sterling will be our currency we're just going to edit the name we are going to play at home the home of south end united which is obviously roots all so pre-season tournament invite we are going to decline now south end do play pre-season games obviously but we haven't been on tour for a little while, so we're going to decline it. Probably a bit controversial, but I'm sure we'll get over it. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. So in terms of my scout instructions, I really only ever have one thing I ask my scouts to look out for. Uh, we, I don't care about them too. I literally only do this. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I literally only do this. Any position, first team quality... Don't care if they're a free kick specialist. Back. That is that. FC Sion have shown interest in Stephen McLaughlin. Okay. So, I am not a selling manager in my first season. I do not sell any players in the first transfer window. Maybe in the winter transfer window, but in the opening transfer window... No chance. I believe in letting players compete for their places in the club. Obviously, I'm a new manager. They've got a lot to prove to me. Ivan Tony, we've put a scout report on. Let's go in for Ivan Tony. Arsenal have accepted our proposed terms for taking Eddie Niketa on short term loan. Excellent. Ivan Tony. Could be on his way to South End. We've reached an agreement with Peterborough United. We're going to accept. And we're going to negotiate with him. There we go then. Straight away, we are making moves in the transfer window. Eddie Niketa has accepted a short-term loan move to our club. Eddie will be available for training and selection. And you can already include him in your plans for the next match. He will return to Arsenal as soon as his short loan, short loan loan expires. <laughs> Excellent. Manton, Milligan, McLaughlin on the right, Niketia and Humphreys. Cool. There we go. Signing number two, Ivan Tony, is joining South End United. He is going to come in. With the number nine shirt. I like that. That works for me. And just like that, Ivan Tony slots in up top next to loan signing Eddie Niketia. Moments before Kingy 2012's first game in charge of South End United. He is going to face the media for the very first time. How are preparations for your South End debut going? Quite well, actually. You know, we've brought in a couple of good players. Um, we're working hard every day on the training fields to ensure we have the best chance to start the season strong. Can't disagree with that. Does the team have to fight to avoid the embarrassment finishing in a low position? 100%. 1000%. Squad is capable of avoiding any trouble at the wrong end of the table by securing a mid-table position with the least amount of hassle. Again, completely agree with that. After Tony's acquisition from Peterborough, fans are eagerly awaiting to see him grace the field. What do you expect from his debut against Coventry? Goals. <laughs> goals, goals, goals. He'll prove he's the right man. I'm sure the fans will soon see what Tony is all about and he'll prove he's the right man for the job. Very accurate. And that is all the questions I will take. There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Here we go then. Kingy 2012's first game as South End United manager and we are away to Coventry City 
Here at Moulton Road, here come the two teams. South end led out by John White. Coventry, the Coventry fans out in full force for this opening League One fixture. Big game up ahead, South end obviously bringing in two new signings. One to watch, Ivan Tony, just signed from Peterborough United. Gets chucked straight into the first team here. There he is, the man to watch for South End. Can he be today's man of the match? He'll certainly be an important player. There is the man of the moment, though. Kingy 2012 taking the reins for the first time. Player shaking hands. And we are about to get this game underway. Coventry City will kick us off. And away we go. We are live from Moulton Road. Coventry City versus South End United. Well cut out from Mantum. Does well. Here's Eddie Niketia. Ivan Tony. Great ball to Sam Barrett. Sam Barrett. What a goal! What a way to start this campaign! Sam Barrett with the opening goal. Just shy of four minutes played here. Great goal. Absolutely fantastic. Sam Barrett. First goal in League One. The first goal under the Kingy 2012 era. And just like that, Coventry will get us back underway. Fantastic start to life for Kingy 2012 here at South End United. Coventry, though, on the break. And can they equalize straight away? Whoa, just wide there. Very close to the mark. And that's well cut out. Milligan playing it forward to McLaughlin. Ivan Tony plays it short to Eddie Niketia. It's a good tackle, though. And now Allen on the attack is whipped through well. Ralph there to cut it out. Keenan clears up in the back. No, he doesn't. Mark Oxley again there to gather the scraps. Oh, that's a poor ball from Mark Oxley, though. Can Coventry make him pay? No, it's a great tackle from Jason Demetriou. Here's McLaughlin. Ivan Tony. Stephen McLaughlin. Has a go from long range. Great save from the Coventry keeper. Just tips it over the bar. Tony receives the ball. Still Ivan Tony. Finds Sam Mantum. Whips it in. Ivan Tony, what a save from the Coventry goalkeeper. Kingy can't believe it. He was sure that was going to be a second. Tony with a powerful header. Morassi just tips it over the bar. Coventry on the counter. Can they get something here before half time? Jabello finds Allen. Great tackle from Sam Barrett, and that is the halftime whistle. Coventry City nil, South End United one. Sam Barrett's first half goal is the difference between these two sides. Very even game so far, though. Here we go, then we're back underway at Moulton Road. South End United getting this second half underway. Coventry on the attack. Great ball to Mason. Can Demetriou get there to cut it out? He doesn't. But still not cleared. And again, Oxley just claiming the scraps. That's what he does. Where are the defence on that right side? That's poor. Absolute poor from Coventry. They're just rushing it now. Maybe slipped in the poor weather, but he should have done a lot better than that. Commentary going to make a second change. They are doing everything they can to get back into this one. Kingy2012 going to make his first change as well. Luke Hyam coming on to replace Sam Mantum. Tony. Eddie Niketia plays Luke Hyam. Arm oh, with his first touch of the ball. Nearly got on the score sheet. McLaughlin with the corner. Humphreys! Oh, it's off the bar! How unlucky was that? Glenn now can South End pull a second? No, good tackle. And that is 
full time here at Molton Road. It finishes Coventry City nil, Southend United one. It is a win on his managerial debut for Kingy 2012. Sam Barrett's fourth minute goal is what seals three points for Southend, and they take all three points back to Essex. A look at the other results in the opening day of League One. And we will go to Kingy 2012. Here we go then. Post match interview. How happy are you with the first win under your belt as South End's manager? We well, must be over the moon. The lads have given me 100% and that is all I can ask for from my players. Their attitude has been first class since I've been here and I hope they keep it going. Yeah, fair words. Tony has put in a great performance on his first match as Southend player. What do you make of such a strong debut? It was a good debut, but he can definitely offer us more. He settled quickly and is performing close to his best. Do I want more? Of course. I'm confident Ivan is just at the beginning of what he can offer us. You were able to secure the victory today before half time. Are you pleased with how things went in the second half? I think we were the better No, were we the better team? We should have put the game beyond doubt. I would have liked to go or two in the second half to put the result beyond doubt. Ultimately, we were ineffective going forward in the second half, and this could prove costly when facing tougher opponents. Accurate. And that is it. That is the end of King of 2012's interview. And that is also the end of this opening episode of our Southend United career mode. Let's look at the table. Southend sitting ninth after that first win. MK Dons with a comfortable 4-0 win over Berry sit top of the table. Let's have a look at the fixture list before we wrap this episode up. We've just played commentary. We've got a busy month actually in August. Blackpool next. We then have Doncaster in the Carabao Cup. Lincoln City away. It is a very tough game. We then host Peterborough at home. Ivan Tony will be hoping to bag a goal there. Wickham Wanderers away, and we finish the month with Rochdale visiting Roots Hall. But as I said, guys, that is it for this episode. Let me know what you think so far. If you're enjoying it, smash that like button. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell to turn notifications on to make sure you don't miss out of any of this goodness. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. I've been King of 2012. You've been beautiful. Peace and love to you all, and I will see you next time.